Have you ever wondered how to wire a hive to an S-Plan system? Let's do it step by step. So the first thing we got is our switch fuse spur. So that gives us power to the 10 way. And then for controls, we've got the receiver, which is basically the programmer. So if you were gonna go hot water, it goes down to the cylinder stat, to the motorized valve, fires the boiler. If you wanted heating, it goes from the programmer to the zone valve, fires the boiler because that's wireless so as soon as that's calling it makes a connection in there sends it to the valve fires the boiler let's do it cable by cable right so we've got the switch fuse spur which gives power to the 10 way so that's our permanent live neutral and earth we've also got that which goes down to fire the boiler so that's our lr there's our live that goes back and we've also got a neutral and an earth from that so that's already pre-wired so we've added a five core so our first point of call is the programmer or the receiver in the hives case. So let's have a look at the back. There's a little wiring diagram at the bottom. So we've got permanent, live and neutral, and then our RF. So let's get those three wired in. Our live, our neutral and our RF connected at receiver. So now let's connect it over here in the 10 way. So we've got our live, neutral and RFs connected. The only two left are gray and our black. And then over at the receiver, we've got gray and black. So let's do heating on first. So heating on is number four so we're gonna nominate a color and put it in number four so i've picked gray for number four so our heating on over here our heating on is, is gray so i'm gonna pop that into that terminal there that needs to connect up with the brown of the zone valve so top valve is heating on so our brown from the zone valve goes in with that so what the brown does is it motors over to open the valve and then a micro switch makes and then it goes back to fire the boiler. So on a two port, you've got five colors. You've got gray, which is permanent live. You've got blue, which is neutral. Green and yellow, which is earth. Orange goes to LR to fire the boiler and then brown power in. So our orange is gonna go and fire the boiler. So that goes over here. Like that. Our earth goes in our earth. Our neutral goes in the neutral. And the grey goes in permanent live. So it will start to look like that. Because when power comes from here, the programmer, it goes to the room stat wirelessly. If you want heat, it then sends power out of four into here, which goes into brown of the zone valve. Zone valve opens, micro switch makes, boiler fires. That's one half of an S plan done already. Now let's get on with the hot water. So I actually use four core, not five core for this because it's an S plan. So the one cable I've got left is gonna go into hot water on, which is number three. Once that one's connected, over here in the 10 way, you've got one cable left, which is black. So that is hot water on. That's gonna go into here. So hot water from the programmer is now into that terminal. But this time we need to connect it from a wired stat, which is our cylinder stat. So we've got power in, power out. So we're gonna get a bit of two core. We're gonna put our one cable to power in. This I've used brown. The other side of the cable, we're gonna use that brown and we're gonna put it in with the power from the programmer. So we've got hot water on coming from the programmer into the cylinder stat. Once you cool for heat, it's gotta come back out the cylinder stat. So we're gonna pop that one there. So this is our hot water on. Once we're cooling for heat off the stat, so we're left with this cable. I'm gonna pop that into this terminal there. It now needs to go to the hot water zone valve, which is this one. So our hot water on from the stat is here. That's gonna go into, you've guessed it, the brown of the valve. And once the power goes through the valve on brown, it comes back on orange. So that orange is gonna go over here to fire the boiler. And then you've got your neutral, which is gonna go into your neutral. You've got your earth, which is gonna go into your earth. And then you've got your gray, which is your permanent live. So that's gonna go into your permanent live. And that is an S-Plan system for a hive wired up already. Now for the moment of truth. Right, with everything done, just turn the power on. So we're getting power to the receiver already, programmer. So that's already overrode on that. Let's get that turned off. Right, so now everything's set to off on here. 
16 degrees in here. If we turn that target temperature up, get rid of that. So let's put it on 25. That should send a signal to the receiver to bring central heating on. There we go. You can hear it power in the valve. And then that light will come on, which would fire the boiler. There we go. So that's the heating circuit done. So then we turn that back down. That will send a signal to that to stop sending power, which will close the valve and cut the power to the boiler. So it's thinking about it. It's cancelling the demand. Same valve shut, boiler cuts off. Now for our hot water, we can boost that at the top to 30 minutes. Go on then. Sends a the power straight away to there. Down to the cylinder stat. It's going to open that zone valve and it's going to fire the boiler. There we go. And then as soon as we're satisfied at the start, zone valve shuts, boiler switches off. And that is an S-Plan system wired up for the hive. So that's another one done. Happy days.